Hello YouTube, this is a metal scribe I made with some of the stock I had ordered. This is 3 8 measured across the flats. It's about the limit for my little nano lathe because it's 5 inches. So this is 1 inch right here and it went about to the middle and I can't tell you exactly 5 degrees. It's whatever look good uh, how I tapered this. So. What I did was I chucked it in there and did all this first. Uh, kind of maybe like a 45. And I used a lot of sandpaper in a file to get that rounded over that chamfer. You remember where it focuses so it isn't all blurry. So it's comfortable. And on this end, I just took the roundness off. And it's hard to measure, but maybe a 64th you could get in there where that is. You know, just to make it round, make it look good. And this is a 1 8th of an inch drill bit. Okay. I'd take one of my drill bits and chop it off because it had uh, your spiral part wasn't as long as the shank. Shank was real long, so. One of my new bits. So I chopped it off so I could get to fit the chuck of my little lathe. I barely was able to drill the hole in here. So I had my centering bit, you know, your starter bit you use on your, on your lathe and a tailstock. I'd had it in there to, you know, just a ways to hold the dead center on. So I had my starting point. I just had enough to where it wasn't even an eighth of an inch. So uh, I went to the limit of what I could use. So five inches is almost too much to be putting in that little machine. But what I did is, after I drilled it out, it's probably drilled about a half an inch. I turned the bit around, uh, another bit, this is a different bit. Turned the bit around and epoxied it in here, okay. I broke a little bit off of it, cut a little bit off. So to stick out about that much. So I made it the way I wanted it, epoxied in there. So that'll help on the spiral part. And you can always take it out. You heat this with a torch. Pull it out and epoxy is going to come loose. And then use my diamond bits, wheels, I should say not bits, diamond wheels, and put a needle sharp point on there. And I even polished this with the fine emery rotary stone and my, I've showed it before. It's my little grinder buffer machine made with uh, turquoise kind of colored sewing machine motor. And it's mounted on a green box. Now I've been using it. It feels a little rough out here, so I could be peeling it pointing off just a hair but that is high speed steel I and mean, you could use it for a center punch no I just want to use it for a scribe so uh, of course this is brass but I think you get the idea so person could sit here with this you know they, they, you could I don't know if you could do any kind of engraving or right but it's good for initials on certain things metal plastic you know you want to put some initials to hide them somewhere on your tools or something like so just plastic aluminum uh, soft steel but I use it just for a scribe marker lines you know when you're gonna cut a piece of metal you put your uh, sharpie marker dike and whatever you want so that's what it'll be used for so Talked about it long enough. We'll take some pictures and thanks for watching.